Okay guys, I'm here with uh, Jesse Kirk, all the way from uh, Canada. And uh, Jess is obviously one of the female competitors here. Just want to talk a bit about female strongwoman, uh, Jess. Obviously it's a, a massive growing uh, sector of the sport. And I'm just curious um, how the uh, female strongman scene is in, in uh, Canada at the moment. It's been really exciting for me to be part of it. Um, I remember it was probably about five years ago. It was my first strongwoman show and probably the first in Western Canada for all strongwomen. I think we had probably like seven girls out. And just to see it like blow up to what it is now is incredible for me to kind of have watched that transformation. Mm -hmm. Like when I started, there was no weight classes. There was like pretty much local shows only. And then I ended up winning Canada Strongest Middleweight Woman, which got me to the Arnold for the first year, and that was like kind of my first taste of the international scene, and then you go to events like this where there's over 20 women in three weight classes plus masters, it's just like incredible to watch mm. the number of women involved now. How do you think the uh, majority of women get into strong women? I mean, how, how did you how did you get into the sport? I think I was just in the right place at the right time, kind of. Um, there was like a local gym in Regina called Adrenaline Personal Training, and they kind of had a men's scene, and then they kind of, some of the wives and girlfriends kind of got in on the women's side of it, and then it kind of just like, hey, we should run a woman's show, let's see how it goes, and then it kind of just like grew from there, where it was like, you had a couple people out every couple people out every shows and it kind of just took off from there so I don't know I felt like I was kind of just in this like bubble where it like grew mm -hmm. and what was your background in training before because I know there's a lot of crossover from like say powerlifting and yeah. and other type of uh, even crossfits to, to an extent um, what was your sort of training before so like I would say the average Canadian I played hockey growing up ice hockey um, and a lot of fastball and then um, kind of when I hit my 20s I was into like long distance running and then kind of fell in love with the gym and weightlifting and then um I did a I did a powerlifting meet which I was kind of garbage at <laughs> <laughs> it was a good experience but I wasn't very like competitive so I'm not very like statically strong but and then a strong woman competition came up like shortly after that so it was just like really good timing for me okay. yeah well, that's good and so so yeah so so more of like an athletic background and you sort of crossed over so yeah that's pretty cool it's, it's, it's interesting to see ev everyone's story how they got into it you know? yeah it's isn't it it is indeed. So I'll, I'll maybe speak about a bit about this weekend then. Tell, so tell me how um, how you got on, how your events been, what's what's the score? Um, this has been I I'm happy to say this has been like a pretty good weekend for me so far. Um, I got third place in the deadlifts behind two women who are like incredible <laughs> incredible deadlifters. So I'm I was happy to take a third on that event and then. The server sponsored a sandbag throw, which I was like <laughs> really loving. It's so much fun. Those sand oh, sandbags so are fun. so much fun to toss around. I'm like, they need to make this a more regular event. But I was happy to got, I think I got third on that event. Pressing kind of went the way I thought it would. I got three out of the four implements, which put me, I think, only in 10th place. Like, I think eight women finished all four, which was awesome to watch. And then I got second on the um, wheelbarrow. So I think I'm in third going into tomorrow depending on how everything gets reseeded I guess but yeah I'm, feeling, I'm happy and what events uh, well I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm delighted as well for you too yeah well, thank great, you it's great to watch yeah um, yeah especially with the sandbags I, I, do you know something I'm, I'm really I feel really glad for our um, for the service athletes that they get the train on the, the service sandbags because yeah. um, especially the, the newer ones which are which are a lot more difficult to, to pick up than, than the old style sack ones. Yep. Um, so I, I do definitely notice that, you know, some of our athletes do definitely have an edge in some of these competitions where they've trained on these bags consistently. Yeah, I Just think we are very fortunate to um, get to play with the tools that we're using in the big show, so. Yeah. And, and it's just awesome to see the, the new uh, throwing sandbags. And like I say, I think there will be in a lot more competitions from now on. Yeah. So. So, uh, yeah, so that was a really, really fun event, and it was like fun to watch everyone else do it too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, when we were, when we were developing and testing them, you know, we'd be playing with them. For, you'd lose track of time because, especially if you're doing it with a few other people, you know, it becomes a competition even when oh, you're playing absolutely. with them. You know? yeah. so, um, so before you know it, then afterwards you're like, why am I so tired? And you realize it's because you're like, been throwing <laughs> sandbags for like three or four hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, 
So no good. It's, it's awesome to speak to you. How's um, how's Lance? Have you spoken to him, Lance Lavely? Sorry. How's Lance doing? In He's doing really well. I actually got to meet him in person for the first time um, a couple weekends ago. He came to Regina to compete at um, the Agribition um, Strongman Show, so that was really fun. He's he's lovely. If you need any strongman stuff from Canada, he's really really awesome to deal with. So for, the, for those listening, Lance is our um, uh, Canadian distributor. So that's the Canadian website uh, ca dot service and one of the one of the most amazing things. Well, I think it's really cool about all our distributors is they all compete and they they're all sort of uh, strongman experts yeah. in their own right. So you know it's there's no better people to get advice from when you when you're looking for new equipment and things and accessories. So. And even just like lifting stuff too, like on Team Cerberus in Canada alone, and I know in the states too, there's like people are always willing to like help out and give advice. And I was getting deadlift programming from one of the best deadlifters in Canada, and that really helped. And I'm really grateful to be a part of the team. It's, no, it's, it's awesome. Good. I'm glad we've we've sort of um, built built a nice community, and you know, yeah. everyone's really. Uh, I'll be honest, from a personal perspective. We don't sponsor anyone we don't like, so you know if, if anyone acts like a dick, you know you're not part of Team yeah. Cerberus, you know. So <laughs> you're it's really, yeah, so it's, it's nice to have uh, you know all good good folks in the team, you know, and everyone sort of helps themselves and and, yeah. and, and supports. And uh, I was just checking my phone earlier. We've got a, the Cer- the Cerberus USA group chat, and you know everyone's watching the live stream, and they're all like, go Clint, and you know go Mike, and all this stuff. It's so hard not to get behind them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Jess, it's wonderful speaking to you, and I, I wish you all the best for tomorrow. Thank you so much. And uh, take care of yourself. Say hello to Lance if you see him. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.